So we're actually going to revisit for this task a uh, bacterial well plate counting experiment that we looked at in the previous notebook. Uh, back then, we were just working out if wells had fewer than 10 colonies and ignoring them because we needed a certain density of colonies in our well plates. Uh, here, we're going to actually grade wells by how dense they are. And we're going to create a function to do that for us. And that function is called classify well. And it's going to take the number of colonies, the number of colonies, um, one by one in a well, and it's going to return for us a category, high density, medium density, or low density growth in that well. So we're going to replace all these gaps one by one. So first of all, let's focus on our function. So define classify well, we've set up here, it's going to take the number of colonies and actually we can see we're using a variable called number of colonies inside so let's put that as our parameter so the function classify well is defined by taking the number of colonies and doing the following if the number of colonies colonies is greater than or equal to 15 then our category is high density else if the number of colonies is greater than or equal to 10 then our category is medium density. Otherwise, our category is low density, same as in the previous one. And we're going to return this string category. Then that's our function defined, but our function is no use unless we also call our function. Because we actually have a list of numbers of colonies, we need to use a for loop, which we've seen before, to call our function one by one on each of the items in that list. So for this well number of colonies in the whole well plate counts list, this well category equals, and this is where we get to call our own function that we've just defined with that number. And then we can say that this well is that dense with that many colonies. So now if I run this cell, each of the cells one by one is looked at. 12 colonies is medium density, 9 is low, 13 is medium, 19 is high, so on and so forth. So now I can, with a function, start to reuse this code in all of my workflows where I care about the density of colonies. I might have other for loops, I might have if statements elsewhere that use it, and therefore I can start to build up much more complex code bases without repeating and copy and pasting code 